Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. This weekend I've been playing with my Mikotronics Rockchip RK3588 Android's media box. Unfortunately, the Play Store isn't working yet, but it is possible to install APKs that you download with Chrome. So a lot of apps are only available through the Play Store, but at least you can install some apps and well, Mikrotronics is working on a fix. So for now, I want to show you just two things and I will show you the WebGL Aquarium as a simple benchmark test and I'm also going to show you Ether SX2, the Android PS2 emulator. And for that I also um, connected a PlayStation 3 controller on the USB port and that works out of the box and you can also use the uh, controller directly in Android TV itself. So here I installed IDA64 so you can see it has four ARM Cortex-A76 high performance cores and I'm not really sure why it's listed as three times A55 cores and one A55 core but you can see there are eight cores and the CPU clock range is between 1200 and 2200 megahertz okay so like I said uh, a simple benchmark oops that's something I just forget about Android TV that when you connect a mouse that the right mouse button is back but we'll go to the WebGL Aquarium. Oh. And as you can see, 500 fishes, 60 frames per second. When you go to 1000, it's still 60 frames per second. And when you go to 5000, then you can see that the frames per second that they drop to well, with a bit of luck, 40 frames per second. Um, yeah, I'm assuming um, there are some closed source drivers from Rockchip with this Android 12 installation. And perhaps these drivers will improve in the future, who knows. But at least you have an indication now on how capable the Rockchip RK3588 is. And I also installed Ether SX2 and you can download the APK from the Ether SX2 website. And just to show you some settings that I've set the renderer to OpenGL two times upscaling and I activated uh, widescreen not really sure where that um, yeah multi-threaded VU1 is also enabled and oh yeah aspect ratio 16 by 9 and I enabled the patches so we can start Final Fantasy 10 
And one thing I also notice is that the audio volume is very low. But they can probably fix that in software. Um, the monitor is actually at 100% volume level, so I cannot make it louder. And as you saw, I've set it to two times upscaling. Um, a lot of the things they're still uh, rendered properly and at 60 frames per second when you choose three times upscaling. But some of the effects they will slow down seriously when you set it to three times upscaling. So when you don't want any frame drops, it's better to stick with two times upscaling. And one of the effects where I saw a serious drop in the performance was for instance here. So with this effect, the demi attack, this explosion, when I set it to three times upscaling, I would see severe drops in the frames per second. But um, when you keep it at two times upscaling, then so far it works. And I have to admit that you can see, um, yeah, the quality difference between two times and three times upscaling on a 1080p monitor. So just imagine when you have like an 8K TV, then yeah, you probably want at least uh, three times upscaling. But who knows when the drivers perhaps get updated and also Ether SX2 that gets updated very frequently. So hopefully we can run it with three times upscaling without having any drops in the frames per second. So that's all I wanted to show you for today. Um, yeah, I'm limited in what I can show you because the Play Store isn't working, but I think this will give you an impression on the performance of the Rockchip RK3588. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.